this is Dulce the Light. These days, doesn't matter how beautiful a place is, it's never complete without a selfie. Roses are beautiful, but a selfie next to it is more beautiful. Being cool means nothing until you take a selfie with your tongue sticking out. And even when we claim we don't like them, we take them. But we look to the other side, so the selfie looks natural. Hi! People are so in love with themselves and their selfies that I bet they would eat themselves up if they could. And now they can, because today I'm going to teach you how to make portrait cookies. So you can make yourself, eat yourself, poop yourself. <laughs> awesome. The first step is to make the cookie. I'm gonna show you how to make a regular sugar cookie, but there are a few tricks to maintain the shape of the cookie because every time you wanna decorate a cookie, you don't want it to spread everywhere and you make like a Christmas tree and it ends up like a monster. So I'm gonna show you like a couple of tricks so it will retain its shape. In a bowl, add one cup of sugar with 150 grams of room temperature butter. Mix it just enough to combine everything, because this process incorporates air in the dough, which makes it rise in the oven. And we don't want that! We want to maintain the shape of the cookie, even after baked. Add one egg, whisk it, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now add two and a half cups of flour and a pinch of salt. No baking powder here, we don't want it to rise in the oven, remember? Mix it just until it looks crumbly, gather everything with your hands and wrap it. By refrigerating this dough, the gluten that contains in the flour gets relaxed, which makes our cookies not only perfectly shaped, but also crunchy. Yuck! Terrible sound effects. And now it's time to take or choose an awesome selfie from our endless photo library. I don't want to make a cook of myself. Let's show the world of selfies that we can also be selfless. Just go and pick a friend. I'm gonna go with Lena Denton because she's my friend. Right here, right here, she is. Let's pick a good photo of Lena. Here she looks like Anne Hathaway and people are gonna think that I didn't do a good job in my cookie. So let's pick another one. This one looks like her, but it's showing teeth which looks kind of creepy on cookie portraits. Yeah, avoid teeth if you don't want to look creepy. This one I think is a good photo because it's clear, bright, you can see her face expressions. Yeah, this one. Printing in black and white will help you see all the outlines easier. Remove your dough from the fridge and open it over a parchment paper or a seal pad. Roll it out to a quarter of an inch thick and place your selfless picture or selfie over it. With the help of a paring knife, cut around the picture and remove all the excess dough. Put this in a baking pan, refrigerate for an hour, bake it at 350, remove when the edges are browned. Era quarta-feira santa, dia de pescar e de pescador. Era quarta-feira santa. Time to make the royal icing, and this icing is super shiny, sets perfectly, very fancy, just like the royals. In a bowl, add half cup of water with two and a half tablespoons of moringue powder and whisk to combine. It's basically dry egg whites and you can find at any specialty store. Add a pinch of cream of tartare or three drops of lime. Now add 500 grams of confectioner's sugar and go get your mixer to make your life easier. Mix it on low speed for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minutes. Do not mix less than that. This process is what's gonna make the icing super shiny. Add half teaspoon of vanilla extract and this is done. Look how gorgeous it is, and the consistency is just right. When you pass your finger through, the open channel closes completely. If you didn't reach this consistency, you have to add more water. Now, get your photo reference and have your icing separated in different containers. Just like Photoshop, I'm gonna dye the icing color matching the portrait. Pink, white for the eyes. Oh, these are all natural food coloring. If you wanna learn how to make them, I'm gonna post the link under the description here. Now that all my color glazes are ready, Cookies are baked, we just have to start putting faces here. And I even made a version of Lena's in her best tan. 
she went to Jamaica and she stayed at the beach for 45 days. <laughs> I just forgot her in the oven and she also broke, but here's another one. If you don't have any artistic knowledge, you can use graphite paper. It's like a transfer paper, but it's not toxic like carbon paper. Cut it the exact same size as your picture. Place it on top of your cookie and tape it so nothing moves. Small details makes all the difference. With the help of a skewer, start tracing the hairline and don't get attached to the details. All you need is the outline. You need to put medium pressure to actually make the graphite paper work. And if you're skeptical, just take a little pick. See, the lines are there. Continue with the outline of the nose, mouth, eyebrows, and eyes. And contain yourself not to create new features in your portrait's face. Like, let me fix her eyebrows. No, this can literally screw up everything. Don't try to change somebody else's face. You're not God. Let's remove the tape and see what we have. Brilliant. We have all the outline in the right place. Now, dissolve one tablespoon of cocoa powder with three tablespoons of hot water. This is what I call chocolate watercolor. With the help of a very thin brush, brush this watercolor over the trace lines. It should be very delicate. With the hair color glaze in a pastry bag with the tip number one, trace the hairline. This works like a barrier, like a wall. Now you can come with the glaze and squeeze in with all your heart, because the whole face is protected. Cover the entire area and fill in any pockets with the help of a skewer. If the glaze was in the right consistency, it should set evenly. And beautifully. From this point on, no more pastry bags, everything is way too delicate. With the help of a skewer, fill in with glaze only the eyebrows, eyes and lips. Matching the correct colors, of course. Now, it's the most critical part of this whole portrait, the white dot in the eye. It's really important that they are parallel. If Lina is looking to the right, this white dot should be more towards the right corner. And they must be parallel. Otherwise, your portrait cookie is gonna look like this. Or this. Or this. Basically a Siamese cat. No, 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 no. Not with me. Finish the eye creating a tear duct and paint the outline of the eyes with the chocolate watercolor. This will make the eyes more expressive. Add eyelashes and don't overestimate under lashes. I screw up everything because of them. But the good news is that you can just come with the skewer and scratch the surface. It will erase. Final touch would be a reflection on the lip and a couple of hair strands just to make it more charming. An extra reflection on the eye and the blush, which is just some hibiscus powder that I use on my cheeks. Remember, if it's not good enough to be eaten, it's not good enough to be in your skin. Ta-da! May I present you Lina Dunn. Oh wait, there's a little mistake here. I connected her face line with her neck. This was my selfless cookie and I'm going to take a photo and post it on Instagram and invite Lina to come to a piece of her own head with me and see you next week with another delicious headless cookie. <laughs> Creepy, portraity, not so disturbing. <laughs> and see you next week with another delicious, not so disturbing recipe. Bling! this video prove it and give me your like don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram and facebook thank you for watching